Hello and welcome to another video where today we're going to be looking at my first two sets in Premier Cup. Uh, so my team is Dragonite with Dragon Breath, Hurricane, and Dragon Claw, and the Champ with Counter, Rock Slide and Cross Chop, and Metagross with Bullet Punch, Meter Mat and Earthquake. So in these sets I'm leading Metagross, uh, leading to Gyarados Game 1. Uh, so I'm going to shield the crunch here. And I'm going to hit the Meteor Mash. Uh, it's not really a positive matchup for Metagross, but I didn't want to swap it out into the Champ. That's not a good matchup either. And I didn't want to swap it out into Dragonite too early um, in case I got counter swapped. So at this point, I'm happy to just take a crunch with Dragonite here. Um, losing that extra little bit of health isn't the worst thing in the world uh, compared to me down two shields. So in comes Metagross. So I just spam Dragon Claws here. Let's try and get as much chip on Metagross as I can. I don't quite get to the hurricane, so I just throw the next dragon claw here. So these are my first battles in Premier Cup. Uh, I hadn't done much practice with it, to be honest with you. I don't think I'd done any practice battles. Just went in raw. These are three of the only four Pokemon I have maxed. The fourth being a right carrier. Um, so I suppose you know, playing with what I have at the moment. Maybe in the future I'll get more. Uh, I let through an Earthquake from Metagross because I knew Earthquake doesn't KO. Uh, Meteor Mash does more damage than Earthquake in this scenario. So, so hit the cross chop, immediately regret it, get the shield anyway. And then I'm able to get him into farm range for my own Metagross. And then he brings out Rhyperior and an even shield with an energy advantage for Metagross. This should be GG's. Yeah, so he probably should have shielded. It would have been closer. Maybe he would have got it with mud slap damage, but he's happy enough to let that one go. So you can see I only have under 50 wins at the start of this set in Master League ever. Uh, I'm just not really wanting to do much battles in Master League, to be honest. Uh, so, throughout this set, I kind of changed the lead up, just comparing to what I see. Um, so, these are my first sets. So, I'm kind of set on the three for now, but the, the leads will change up. Um, so, going into the second game here. And it's a Metagross lead this time. So again, second game in a row where the lead hasn't been ideal for me. Uh, so I decided I'm going to shield the Meteor Mash here, keep as much health on Dragonite as I can, and go for the Hurricane. It's a bit of a Hail Mary here, I think I'll let the second Meteor Mash through. Uh, they let the, they let that through the next move in the champ to farm and just can't get it down. So it brings in it brings in Togekiss before it goes down, and I don't know if I get to a second rock slide, but I said I might as well try. Um, I go for the cross chop, grab the shield, and at this point I realize I'm not getting to the second one, and I can't even get the second cross chop off. Uh, but at this point. I can just come in with Metagross and I can shield the flamethrower and farm down. I do shield it, don't I? Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> I shield the flamethrower and I farm down. Um, so now Metagross is going to be loaded on energy. Uh, double Meteor Mash ready. Uh, 
and I throw one into the one HP Metagross just in case um, that their Metagross had a move ready. I wanted to be able to throw, and I tried to swap a CMP swap, wouldn't let me. And it's an earthquake, and I got on. But at least I got the shield, and I got an extra little bit of farm on Dragonite then. As a positive out of that. And then in comes his Dragonite. And at this point, pretty much a GG's. Uh, no shields, and I've half the health he does. It's just one extra Dragon Bro, it's worth of energy. So Dragon Claw does a good chunk. Uh, but he'll get to Dragon Claw. I think he was running Dragon Tail, but either way, um, he can get to Dragon Claw before I can be able to farm down. So coming into Premier Cup, <coughs> coming into Premier Cup, I had uh, no expectations really of what I'd be getting. Uh, as you can see here, I changed back to a meta growth lead. Uh, just trying to figure out the meta. I'm sitting here at 2300 at the start of these sets. Um, uh, this time I get a Mammoth Swine lead, which is better again, well, it's better for a Metal Growth lead, but still, it's not a disaster. Um, if you're leading Dragonite, you can still win. And my opponent just quits out of that one. Maybe their team is triple weak to Metal Growth, maybe it was lag, I don't know. But we take those wins when we get them. Um, so it puts me 2-1 for the set. So queuing up here now again for the next game. Again, I stick with Metagross lead. The last game wasn't really one that could take a lot out of. You know, caught a Mammoth Swine lead with it, but okay. So they swap out their Dragonite into a Metagross. Nice stay in. Long enough, get to the Earthquake, throw the Meteor Mash. And knowing their Dragonite in the back, I kind of want to swap out here, but knowing that the Metagross is there, I kind of don't at the same time. Uh, so I'll throw in my Machamp. At this point, I know they're definitely at an Earthquake. If not, a double Meteor Mash isn't, isn't far off. Um, so they just throw the Meteor Mash into the shield. And the only goal here, really, with Machamp is just get as much damage as I can. Let this through. Don't want to spend the second shield. Uh, and I know Machamp can survive it. Not by much, but he can survive enough to get the cross drop off. Uh, just to put another and then one or two more counters before I go down. Leave Metagross in the red. Uh, at this point, I can just come in and get to the Meteor Mesh ahead of the Metagross. And they let it through. And they come in right here. And I go for the Meteor Mesh here. And at this point, I'm, I'm wondering if I have any chance in this game. I grab the shield with the Meteor Mash, and I'm tapping the screen furiously to get the swap off, bring in Dragonite, and I call the stuff. And it's done it. I had to call it, uh, and then they bring in Dragonite, so it was over anyway. Um, I had to make a call. Hope they were bathing. They weren't. It happens. Uh, so, just a bit of a lag space. I just turned off the Wi Fi. Double check and see where I am. Two and two through four games. Uh, so, here I was sitting at 2301, and I really didn't want to drop under 2300 in the first set. So, I was kind of hoping I'd get a good game here, good lead. Uh, I got Metagross into Pure for Dragonish. Which I was happy enough with. And then they just quit out. So, 
an interesting first set. Two opponents quit out of me. It's not a not a nice way to get your fifty at Master League win, but oh hey, we'll take them. A win is a win in GBL. So, moving into my second set. And again, I'm leading with Metagross to start with. I uh, catch Swampert lead, which I'm not entirely thrilled with. Uh, so I just get a bit of energy up. This is only a Hydra Cannon. I'm happy enough to take it. It's still going to tickle, but at least not an earthquake. Um, since it throws the Hydra Cannon, I'll wait to try catch the next one on Dragonite, which I do indeed. So now I have a lot of energy stored up on Metagross in the back. And Dragonite can take the Hydra Cannon comfortably. And he swaps in with Champ. At this point, I'm thinking that Dragonite could sweep half of two thirds of his team, potentially his whole team, depending on what he brings in the back. Uh, he lets the Dragon Claw through on the Champ, uh, knowing that it could possibly be a Rock Slide. A shield. It's only cross shots with good bait on his end. And at this point, I know I'm happy enough to just farm him down. Uh, and he brings Swamper back in. At this point, I'm wondering what he has in the back. That's going to be weak to uh, Dragonite because he should have really have kept Swamper for the Metagross in the back. Uh, or Metagross, however you want to say it. Uh, I'm happy enough to let this through. Again, it's probably another Hydra Cannon. It's probably going to keep me alive long enough to, be able to get this Dragon Claw off and either take a shield, which it doesn't, or KO the Swamp. So now he has Charizard in the back, two shields. And if I get Dragon Claw off here with Dragonite, and this is a very important Dragon Claw. Grab the first shield. Uh, so I swap into Metagross. Having double Meteor Mash kind of helps here. Um, all that energy is stored up. The first one, grab the shield. and Not quite at the double, but I can get there before. Or I thought I could get there before and just lose out in the CMP. But that's okay. Um, he throws the Dragon Claw. My energy is loaded. I get the Meteor Mash. I'll go down to the fire spin here. But him trying just to use the low energy move and he doesn't even see that I'm the champ. One HP in a dream. <coughs> but I would have got there with the champ either way. Yeah, I'd have got to that rock slide with my shield. So going into the next game of this set. Just takes a moment for it to load up. So the game decides it doesn't want to load that game and moves us on to the next one. So this time Gets a rank nine opponent. Uh, see after the last that I went from twenty three oh one to twenty three thirteen with a three two, which is really a one two plus two quits. But I'm not complaining. Uh, so waterfall Gyarados again, not a good matchup for the Metagross lead. Uh, I'm just trying to get as much off as I can here. With the Meteor Mash, I probably should have just saved up and swapped on the crunch. Either way, I throw the Meteor Mash and I swap straight away into Dragonite, uh, especially because it's a Waterfall Gyarados. It's not going to do a lot of damage to Dragonite. 
this point don't shield expecting the crunch and it's an outrage so that was the end of dragon it uh, caught me by surprise i didn't even get time to click the dragon claw uh, so metagross comes back in confirm down again i don't think i'm in a great position here at this point and then he comes in with snorlax uh so i just go for it um forget about the baiting at this point just go for the earthquake he's gonna expect a meteor mash he lets it through cool uh at this point now i'm just going for meteor mashes as much as i can and i put up the shield just to get off this damage purely because i want to get this meteor mash off um or at least get the swap to the champ which i do and the champ is going to eat uh, body slam here. So again, that's fine. Champ may not be the tankiest. In comes Togekiss. And I get the rock slide. With the champ, I just got enough farm off on the Snorlax to get the rock slide. Um, Togekiss shields it. Now he only has one shield left. Uh, and I only have the one meteor mash. Just to get the second shield and I'll get Charm down from there. Yeah. Again, losing with shields up. Not ideal. Big mistake in that game, letting through the outrage on the Dragonite. Um to be honest I didn't think many Gardos were running outrage at this point. This was within the first hour of Premier Cup. Lesson learned. So, moving into the next game of this set. And it's another Gyarados lead. So, so far, we've seen Waterfall and Dragon Breath Gyarados um, in our first two sets alone as leads. Once again, with Metagross here, just going for the Meteor Mash. And then, depending on what they do, whether they shield or let this through, we'll reassess their options. They shield. Okay. Then at this point, because Dragon Bread is being resisted, I'm farming up as much as I can. Um, I'll throw up one shield here. Shield Crunch. And then I go for another Meteor Mash. Uh, at this point, I think I'm sticking in this game to try and get shields. And they let the second one through. And once they let the second one through, I swap to Dragonite. Catch the crunch. So no, no reason to do anything other than crunch there at that time. And then I can Dragon Breath down. So an even shield, I have a Metal Growth in the back for later. And Dragonite with a little bit of farm on him. So in comes their Dragonite. Then I can get to the Dragon Claw before them with the little bit of energy advantage I have. Grab their last shield. Um, and I'm okay going down here. But then they decide to throw a move. Uh, so they go for Dragon Claw themselves. So at this point, I can come in with Metagross. They're going to swap out into their Metagross. And I'm happy enough. They've just given me the game by doing that. Uh, I had the energy lead. And I have a shield. So I can just go for the Earthquake. Take out Metagross. Uh, and at this point, a shield, whatever comes in. Whether it be Dragon Claw or Hurricane or Outrage or Draco Meteor. Drag Cloud is. Uh, and then I can just throw this Meteor Mesh just to make sure uh, Dragonite doesn't farm me down, which I don't think really would have happened anyway. And I'd full health my champion back. Best be safe in these games, especially early on. Again, another quick check. Has me at two wins in this set so far. Uh, 
So I get a Metagross lead into Machamp, which I mean, Steel type into a Fighter, not great. Psychic type into a Fighter, fantastic. So while Fighters look like good counters, at the end of the day, they're, they're really soft counters, you know. They're going to be doing damage, they're going to chip away at Metagross, but Metagross is still going to come out with the win in any sort of even shields scenario. Um, so I go for the Meteor Mash here again. And the shield. So then I decide to try to catch cross chop on Dragonite. It doesn't work. And then they swap out into Metagross. Uh, so again, up a shield here. I'm happy enough with a little bit of energy lead. Up a shield. I'm happy that I can get myself into a position to take the game from here. From this. So I grab their second shield. Hit the Hurricane. And I'm happy enough to shield this Meteor Mesh. And then, take us out till I go Dragon Claw or do I go Hurricane again? And I decide to just go Dragon Claw, just get as much damage off as I can. Knowing I have the full health my champ in the back. And yeah, I decide to let Dragonite go down here. Knowing I have the Medigross, I have the Machamp in the back. Uh, so I go far. My champ here, whole thing to be able to farm down. Don't get he brings in his machamp, uh, so I don't shield here. And if the champ goes cross chop, I can eat that. I'll go cross chop myself. And he's at low enough health that a lighter KO or leave him very close. One HP in a dream, I get that one extra bit of counter farm in uh, he brings back in his metagross i can counter that down and then he comes in with snorlax and at this point i wasn't quite sure because i couldn't remember how much health was left in the metagross um whether i could take this game or not cross chopped it a good chunk swapped out into metagross and looking at that i was like one meter mass should do the trick and then for some reason I go for the earthquake. I don't know was that a flex or what I was trying to do. Did I not think meteor match was gonna do it? Again, these are first sets. I hadn't really run since. I just knew Dragonite was good. I knew Metagross was good. And the jump was kinda of my third. Kinda of saw counter things if it had the energy. Oh well. Uh, at this point I think I've now secured myself the positive set. Uh, but either way, I'll play them out. So I get the Metagross lead into another Gyarados. Just my luck in these sets. I think that's the fourth or fifth Gyarados lead. Uh, and again, it's another Waterfall Gyarados. So I go for the Meteor Mash here. And again, the plan will be to try catch a Crunch with Dragonite. Uh, as much as possible. Have a bit of energy left on Metagross when I do that. Um, so don't catch it. But I'm okay putting up this shield. And then try to just get enough energy on Metagross and be able to farm Gyarados, but then they get to swap out into Metagross themselves on time, just before Gyarados goes down. I mean, I don't catch the bait, which isn't a deal. At this point, I know if I shield, I go down two shields. Maybe in hindsight, it was probably the right play. Um, I still get this Dragon Claw off. I think at the time was the main thing. If I can live and just get this Dragon Claw off, I can get into a farm range from the champ. Um, yeah. 
and then I'm one HP. And I don't know why I don't shield this. Because <laughs> my champ is nearly dead now. They have two shields, uh, almost dead Gyarados on a full health. I mean, yeah, and I just let all my energy go on my champ. Whereas if I had shielded the Meteor Mash, yeah, like at this point, Metagross can't really beat anything. And uh, Swampert, so I just go for the Meteor Mash. Uh, I know it's over, but I'm going to play it out. I even think if I had left, if I had shielded the Meteor Mash, eaten the crunch, I still probably wasn't in a position to win this. Uh, so I go for the second Meteor Mash. Again, just getting the shields. Uh, no point shielding. That game was over. So, my first two sets, and I went 3 2 and both. If you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe for more Surf Arena and Go Battle League content. Thank you.